Okay, so today I made you this video here where I went through the new Adidas NHL Retro Reverse Jersey Teaser, and I tried to guess what team was which, and then the teams went ahead and announced who was which anyway. So here's my original video with the guesses in there, and then I went through and I edited where I was wrong. So you'll hear me talk about guessing which is which. They're all correct at this point. Please enjoy. First up, we have this black and red jersey that says 1940 on the back. Uh, there's only so many teams that were around in 1940. Could this be the Red Wings, perhaps? Uh, we think it's probably the Chicago Blackhawks, who uh, would look pretty good going back to this stripe-filled design from 1940 with the new modern logo on the chest. Again, this is just a guess. Could be the Red Wings. We really don't know. Next is this blue and silver jersey that says 1970 on the back. And, you know, blue and silver, it's either the Maple Leafs or Tampa Bay Lightning. Well, the Lightning certainly went around in 1970, so we're going to say it's the Toronto Maple Leafs in 1970, who would look pretty good in a blue and silver version of this jersey that they wore from 1970 to 1992. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. Next, we have blue and red from 1977, and I mean, we're looking at original six at this point here. Um, probably the Montreal Canadiens, could be the New York Rangers, but we think the Rangers are going to go with something a little more modern. The Canadians could wear a blue and red version of their classic red and blue road jerseys, or home jerseys now. It would look pretty good. All right, now we're having some fun here. 1978 white, green, and gold. That's definitely a North Stars jersey, right? Who's going to wear a North Stars jersey? I think it's going to be the Minnesota Wild. Can you picture a green, white, and gold recolored version of their current logo? I think that's what we're going to see here. Just a guess. And you could say, well, it's the Dallas Stars, Dallas Stars. We see what we think is a Dallas Stars jersey a little later in this. So uh, that's what we think. Of course, we could be wrong. We don't know. We're just guessing. But a green and gold Minnesota Wild jersey is something we think we're going to see here. All right, cue up the Brass Bonanza in North Carolina. We all know what this jersey is. The Carolina Hurricanes are going to wear a white, green, and blue version of their current uniforms. That's what we think, a reverse retro of the 1979 Hereford Whalers uniform redesigned to match the current Carolina Hurricanes logo set. We'll see. People might get upset at this if that's what it is, but uh, still, love that color scheme. Speaking of relocated WHA teams, going back to their old looks, this is the Colorado Avalanche, but it says 1979, so we're thinking they're wearing the old Quebec Nordiques uniforms here, and this will be a treat. We haven't seen the Avalanche wear the Nordiques uniforms before, and especially recolored in this color scheme. Hmm, could be interesting. All right, we're just rolling along here with the class of 1979 from the WHA. This is most definitely an Edmonton Oilers jersey. I mean, it could also be a New York Islanders one. Same color scheme, we really can't tell. But white with orange shoulders and orange numbers. It'll be interesting to see how this one turns out. All right, the last one from 1979 here. This has got to be the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, looks like we're going to see their original 1979 uniforms with the modern current blue and silver color scheme. Will it be with the new logo? Will it be with the original logo? Who's to say? But definitely a uh, Winnipeg Jets jersey going back to the original franchise and uh, I guess pretending the Coyotes thing never happened. Okay, blue and orange 1980. Sorry folks, you probably wanted the fish sticks jersey, but who else could it be? It's got to be the New York Islanders. We already have seen two blue and orange jerseys by 1980. The fish sticks just aren't happening. I don't know what to tell you, I'm sorry. But the Islanders won a Stanley Cup this year, so I mean, that's pretty good, right? I don't know what they're going to do, it's the same color scheme, but I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what they're doing here? Well, this one doesn't take a lot of detective work. New Jersey Devils. They're going to go back to red and green. It looks like it's going to be a green version of that original 1982 uniform, which sounds pretty cool. Christmas tree uniforms. Everyone loves the retro look. Let's see what this one looks like in green instead of red. While the colors make sense, the year here does not. A purple and gold 1989 jersey. That's the LA Kings, but the Kings stopped wearing those colors in 1988. So what we think is happening here is a purple and gold version of the uniforms they started wearing in 1988-89, which is the Wayne Gretzky era uniforms. So a recolored version of a different retro uniform. All right, sign me up. Let's see what that looks like. All right, the 1990s, things get a little trickier here because there's so many different teams and so many different designs. But we think this 1990 gold and black jersey is the Boston Bruins who rocked this design to a Stanley Cup final appearance against the Edmonton Oilers. 
But of course, we think it's going to be a gold version of that because it's a reverse retro, not a straight up retro. Okay, so here's one I had to go back and re-record because I got wrong. Originally I had this as the Flames, but uh, the Ottawa Senators have confirmed that this is them. 1992 going to wear a red version of their expansion season jersey, uh, which should look pretty cool with the existing set. You know, they just re-released their uh, uniforms going back to the old 90s look. This one will slide in quite nicely. Should be a, uh, their alternate jersey going forward, depending on how good it looks, but I think this is going to look great. Good job, Senators, here. And I was wrong. Oh, well. Well, those of you disappointed by no fish sticks jersey from the Islanders, I think you'll be happy with what I have pegged for this one. Again, just a guess, but this white jersey with teal and purple uh, trim, I think it's a recolored Wild Wing jersey from 1995. The Anaheim Ducks wore this as part of the initial NHL third jersey program where teams just went bonkers crazy with their designs. And I think they're going to bring it back for this one here based on rumors and all these other things. So yeah, this one will be cool. Okay, my second re-record here, because originally I had the Florida Panthers here, but it's the St. Louis Blues who's going to wear a red version of their Blue Note diagonal striping jersey. You know, we think of Wayne Gretzky when we see this thing. This one's going to be weird because the Blues don't wear red, but it is reverse retro, so this is what we get instead. St. Louis Blues, all red, 1995. Orange and black. Go ahead. Anybody. Philadelphia Quakers? No, probably not. Not, not in 1995. Okay, so the Flyers, obviously. Uh, an orange jersey with perhaps black shoulders? Black sleeves? That'll be neat. That's what I think it's going to be. So the Flyers, who uh, have worn this uniform since day one, pretty much, except for, you know, when everyone gets a little nuts in the 90s when they switch to black. But here it is. Philadelphia Flyers. Another re-record. I thought Ottawa Senators, but clearly I'm wrong. So this is going to be the Vegas Golden Knights, who, based on the rumors, are going to wear the old Vegas, Las Vegas Thunder International Hockey League minor league team jersey, recolored to the new Vegas Golden Knights color schemes, red and gold and black. Should look okay. So the 90s were a bit of a tough stretch for me here. I thought this was going to be the Washington Capitals, but it's actually the Florida Panthers who are going to be wearing a blue version of their mid-90s jersey, which was essentially their alternate uniform of the time, so I'm not quite sure what they're going to do here, how they're going to make it interesting, but we'll see. We'll see what they do here. Florida Panthers, 1996. Stanley Cup finalists that year. Okay, another 1990s blue and red jersey, but this one here has silver trim. And earlier back in the 70s, I said, I don't think it's the Rangers because I think the Rangers are going a little more modern and this is it. I think we're going to see the Statue of Liberty New York Rangers jerseys here, right? That silver gives it away to me. Um, and again, maybe it's the Montreal Canadiens with silver. That'd be neat. But I'm sticking with New York Rangers Lady Liberty jerseys. That's my guess. Well, white with black and gold trim, it's either the Penguins or the Bruins, and we already picked the Bruins for 1990, and based on a couple of leaks we saw earlier, we think this could be the Pittsburgh Penguins wearing a white version of their diagonal script jerseys that we saw in the 90s. Uh, no other reason other than that leak, otherwise I'd think it'd be a robo-penguin. Maybe it could, you know, leaks can be wrong sometimes. So yeah, Pittsburgh Penguins, white jerseys from the 1990s. So carrying on my little uh, mixing up of teams here. Originally I thought this would be the St. Louis Blues going with something a little unusual. I was right, they were going to go red, but just the wrong year. This is actually the Washington Capitals, who will wear a red version, we assume, of their Eagle jersey that they wore in the mid-90s, and took to a Stanley Cup final in 1998. Looks like they're going to recolor it with the modern red, white, and blue color scheme. Not sure how this one's going to work, folks, but we'll wait and see. Well, purple, orange, and black. Uh, there's no NHL team that wears those colors, but uh, by process of elimination and considering the colors of other teams that play in that area, I'm going to go with the Arizona, formerly Phoenix Coyotes, wearing a purple and orange version of their Kachina jerseys from the 1990s. Um, yeah, this one's going out there as well, but who else could it be? All right, and... Uh, here is a black and red jersey with a white 98 on the back. Originally I thought this was going to be the Vegas Golden Knights, but I've since found out that this is the Calgary Flames. We're going to wear a black version, I assume a black version of this jersey, or perhaps of the jersey with the horse on the front, but that was already black, so that wouldn't make sense. But this one should look interesting. I mean, I hope it's the podium jersey, because that would look pretty cool in black with red sleeves. Let's see what they do here. 
Okay, white jerseys, silver shoulders, red numbers, 1998. Well, this could be maybe the Buffalo Sabres, but I think we're going to go with the Detroit Red Wings on this one. And I know that's a little odd, uh, but the Red Wings did, well, did wear silver once uh, for a game, 2017 Centennial Classic in Toronto. And 1998 is a significant year for the team, the second of two Stanley Cups back-to-back. -back. Um, so, yeah, we could see a white jersey with perhaps silver instead of red on the sleeves. Uh, an interesting look, uh, maybe a more modern look for a very traditional franchise. All right, yellow and blue. Okay, so it's either Nashville, St. Louis, or Buffalo, right? Well, based on the year 1998, that is the first year for the Nashville Predators, so we're going to go with them, a yellow and blue version of their original uniforms with the big shoulders and maybe some shiny stuff on there thrown in there. Who knows? But uh, that's our guess. But again, could be the Blues, could be the Sabres. Okay, silver with teal. It's got to be the San Jose Sharks. I mean, this team has dabbled with teal. Of course they were teal. But they've dabbled with gray as a color uh, for several years. And uh, yeah, so it looks like a, a silver version of their 1990s uniforms. San Jose Sharks. Okay, green and white, 1999. Stanley Cup champion, Dallas Stars. Uh, that's, of course, our guess. Could be the Minnesota Wild as well. It depends if the Wild and Stars flip-flop with that jersey we saw back in 78. Again, the Stars won the Stanley Cup this year, so it's got to be them. And, uh, yeah, so it just looks like a white version of whatever the Stars wore back then. Perhaps with the new modern logo on the, on the chest. All right, here's a guess here where we base it off the year and the fact that this thing's called Reverse Retro. Reverse, reverse. Who wore blue and red in 2000? And why is 2000 significant for that team? And we think Columbus Blue Jackets, right? They wore a blue jersey with red trim. 2000 was their expansion season. If we're going to call this the Reverse Retro Project, reverse the colors. This one makes sense. Columbus Blue Jackets, 2000 expansion season. All right, another blue and gold team. And uh, these ones really confused us because it could have been anybody. For the longest time, I had this one pegged down to St. Louis Blues. And, you know, I'm still not entirely sure. But... I'm going with a blue, white, and gold version of the Buffalo Sabres 1990s quote-unquote goat head uniforms. That'll look terrible, right? <laughs> but this team today just went back to the retro colors, and if we are going to be mixing up these retro jerseys, that's the way to do it. Okay, green and blue, this color scheme could really only be the Vancouver Canucks unless the Carolina Hurricanes are really messing with our heads. Uh, so for this one, um, because... If the Canucks just go to a green and blue version of what they actually wore in 2001, it pretty much looks like what they wear now anyways. So I'm going to go a little different and say they're going to go to a green and blue version of that gradient alternate uniform that they wore back then just to be different. And boy, that'll be interesting to see. I hope I'm right about this one. And finally, the last one, a nice easy one. Thank you. Thank you. Blue jersey with black shoulders, 2004. Your Stanley Cup champion, Tampa Bay Lightning, both in 04 and in 2020, your defending champs. This jersey should look amazing, right? I'm just picturing it and a blue version of that jersey I always wanted to see. So here's hoping that that's what they do here. Tampa Bay Lightning, 2004 Stanley Cup champion, reverse retro jersey. Okay, so that's it. That's all 31 teams. I'd like to thank Clark Rasmussen from DetroitHockey.net for helping me nail down these 31 jersey designs and let's see what happens these are supposed to all come out on monday november 16th of course sportslogos.net is going to have all the coverage for you so check back on our site to see if we were right maybe if you were right disagree with us please let us know in the comments i know you want to just tell me tell me how wrong i am i'm fine with it okay uh so you know if you like this video give us a thumbs up if you don't like this video give us a thumbs up anyways and uh, don't forget to subscribe check out sportslogos.net thanks